After the eruption of the Israel-Hamas conflict, the United States immediately deployed the USS Bataan amphibious assault ship to the Israeli coast. On March 21st, after eight and a half months of deployment, the Bataan officially returned to the Norfolk Naval Base. It can be said that the WASP class is the true backbone of the U.S. military's expeditionary strike groups. So, how does the U.S. military use the WASP class in actual combat? And what are the differences between the WASP class and previous amphibious assault ships? The lead ship of the WASP class, USS WASP, was commissioned on July 29, 1989, and a total of eight ships have been in service to date except for the USS Bonham Richard. All of them were built at the Ingalls Shipbuilding Yard in Pascagoula, Mississippi. The focus of the WASP class is to change the U.S. military's previous amphibious warfare tactics and has significant differences in performance compared to the Tarawa class. In the 1980s, the U.S. Navy proposed the concept of over-the-horizon amphibious operations, which required conducting three-dimensional amphibious operations from sea and air beyond the enemy's detection range or outside the range of their firepower, primarily using aircraft, hovercraft, and amphibious armored vehicles. Currently, the U.S. military primarily uses the MV-22 Osprey, which can meet the requirements of 32 military missions, and the LCAC hovercraft, which is used in conjunction with vertical landing helicopters for multi-service operations. The amphibious armored vehicles provide armored protection and firepower support to soldiers and can also deploy forces in water, such as the EFV Project and the AAV-7 series. With this system in place, the U.S. military's amphibious landing speed has greatly increased. Unfortunately, the U.S. amphibious assault ships at the time could not meet this requirement. The Iwo Jima class only had the capability for vertical helicopter landings and lacked a well deck, requiring subsequent supplies to be transported by cargo ships. The Tarawa class laid the foundation for modern standard amphibious assault ships with a full-length flight deck and a well deck that could carry out both vertical and horizontal landing operations. However, the well deck's carrying capacity was not strong enough and it could only release landing craft or amphibious vehicles to assault the beachhead at a distance of 5 to 15 nautical miles from the coastline. Therefore, the United States designed a new generation of multifunctional amphibious assault ships based on the Tarawa class to replace the aging Iwo Jima class, which is now the WASP class. Its core design concept is to enable the U.S. Navy to perform various tasks within different operational ranges, especially in a series of emergency situations, to deliver forces, support land operations, and provide comprehensive support. Before the introduction of the America class, the WASP class was the largest amphibious assault ship in the world, comparable in size to a light aircraft carrier. It inherited the design of the Tarawa class, but made certain modifications to facilitate the operation of AV-8B Harrier jets and hovercraft. The main change in appearance is that the bridge of the WASP class is positioned lower, with command and control facilities moved inside the hull. The Mark 45 naval gun and the bulges on the sides were also removed, and the stern elevator was eliminated, returning to the two side elevators like the Iwo Jima class, increasing the available area of the flight deck. Additionally, to accommodate the hovercraft, the hull was extended by 7.3 meters. As for the internal structure of the ship, the WASP class is similar to the Tarawa class, but the garage deck area is only 73% of the Tarawa class, and the cargo deck volume is only 92% of the Tarawa class. The freed-up space can be used to equip aviation-related facilities, allowing the WASP class to carry more aircraft. Before the commissioning of the WASP class ships, U.S. amphibious vessels would release landing craft or amphibious vehicles to assault the shoreline when they were about 5 to 15 nautical miles away from the coast. After the WASP class ships entered service, they could release air cushioned landing craft at a distance of 30 to 40 nautical miles from the coast, eliminating the need for close proximity to the shoreline. That's why the WASP class ships do not have the Mark 45 naval gun as they are not necessary. Additionally, this capability allows the WASP class ships to perform some carrier tasks. 
In the standard deployment mode, the aircraft complement on the WASP-class ships can consist of 4 CH-53 helicopters, 12 CH-46 helicopters, 4 AH-1W helicopters, 6 AV-8B aircraft, and 2 UH-1N helicopters, with a total fleet size of approximately 30 aircraft. In an assault mode, the ship can carry up to 42 CH-46 helicopters. When operating the MV-22 transport aircraft, the WASP-class ships can accommodate a maximum of 12 of them. Of course, the primary role of the WASP-class ships is still amphibious landing operations. In actual combat, they can carry the entire Marine Expeditionary Unit with a cargo hold space of approximately 2,860 square meters and an additional 1,858 square meters for expeditionary force vehicles. The standard payload includes 5 M1 tanks, 25 AAV-7 amphibious assault vehicles, 8 M109 self-propelled howitzers, and 20 military trucks, among others. The WASP-class ships also have fully equipped medical facilities. After the landing force is deployed, the bed space on the ship can be converted into a field hospital with 600 beds. As for weapons and equipment, there is nothing noteworthy except for the Sea Sparrow, CIWS, and Ram Short Range Air Defense Systems. In addition, the WASP-class ships can carry the F-35B aircraft. In early October 2011, the F-35B conducted takeoff and landing tests on the USS WASP. Currently, the AV-8B aircraft on the WASP-class ships are gradually being replaced by the F-35B. The U.S. military planners intentionally abandoned the concept of the Harrier Carrier and renamed it the Lightning Carrier. In terms of performance, the WASP-class ships are similar to sea control ships, which were proposed by the U.S. Navy's Chief of Naval Operations Zumwalt in 1970 as light carriers primarily focused on anti-submarine warfare and escort duties. Throughout its service career, the WASP-class ships participated in various wars, including the Gulf War, Iraq War, and the Lebanon War. In mid-July 2006, during the Israel-Lebanon conflict, the USS Iwo Jima led an expeditionary strike group to the Middle East. The 24th Marine Expeditionary Unit, originally conducting exercises in the Middle Eastern Desert, embarked on the ship and entered the Mediterranean through the Suez Canal. After reaching the northern coast of Israel, they stood by on alert. Similarly, during the Gaza conflict, the USS Bataan and the 26th Marine Expeditionary Unit arrived promptly on the Israeli coast. In addition to these highlights during its service career, another notable ship in the WASP class is the USS Macon Island. The USS Macon Island belongs to a subclass of the WASP class. On April 19th, 2002, the U.S. Navy signed a contract with the Northrop Grumman Corporation to build the last improved WASP-class ship, the USS Macon Island. Compared to the previous seven WASP-class ships, the USS Macon Island featured improvements to the hull that almost classified it as a new class, the Macon Island class. The hull was slightly enlarged, and the full load displacement increased to 41,335 tons. The smokestack was also redesigned, positioned on the starboard side of the island and tilted outward, aiming to direct exhaust gases away from the flight deck to reduce interference. It was evident that preparations were made to accommodate the F-35B. This is the most significant visual difference between the USS Macon Island and the earlier WASP-class ships. Furthermore, some of the USS Macon Island's designs were also incorporated into the America-class ships. The USS Macon Island was the U.S. Navy's first warship to integrate an electric propulsion system. It replaced the outdated steam turbine system with a hybrid electric propulsion system. By utilizing electric propulsion to replace a quarter of the fuel consumption supplied by gas turbines, the USS Macon Island could save 350,000 gallons of fuel annually. Over the ship's lifespan, the cost savings in fuel consumption amount to $250 million compared to the previous WASP-class ships. The power system of the America-class ships followed the same scheme as the USS Macon Island. Overall, the WASP-class, as the main force of the expeditionary strike groups, had a delivery capability and air power that was not as strong as carrier strike groups. 
According to estimates by the U.S. Marine Corps, a WASP-class ship could deploy 40 aircraft sorties per day. In comparison, a new Ford-class aircraft carrier could launch 160 aircraft sorties per day. However, in terms of operational effectiveness, the WASP-class has surpassed most countries' possession of Stavel carriers. For example, compared to the Juan Carlos side of the Spanish Navy, the WASP-class's 40,000-ton displacement is significantly larger. A larger tonnage also means a bigger flight deck and the ability to carry more weapons. The WASP class can transport an expeditionary force of over 1,800 personnel, while the Juan Carlos can only accommodate an emergency delivery of 1,200 personnel. The number of aircraft carried by the two ships also differs due to the impact of the ski jump deck. The Juan Carlos has only eight helicopter landing spots, while the WASP class has nine. In terms of combat power, the WASP class is sufficient to handle a low-intensity regional conflict. Therefore, in the current U.S. military's foreign operations, the WASP-class ships remain the main force. 